We are providing additional supports. Supports is in 25 new positions at the state crime labs to help process critical evidence faster, something the TBI has been begging for for quite some time. We need to make certain that we're giving them the supports they have and then let their processes be more efficient. The TBI analyzes all of the evidence for violent, nonviolent, and sexual offenses. Out of the 25 positions the governor announced, eight will be assigned to the Jackson Lab, where Memphis and Shelby County send their evidence. Six positions will go to Knoxville, 11 to Nashville. We asked the TBI how it chose to divvy out the positions. It says all labs are working to improve. In the past, it stated staffing has been based upon total case submissions. Since July 2019, WREG found out the Nashville lab averages 78 total case submissions per month, Knoxville 59 and Memphis 54. We also uncovered it's taken several months to a year to process rape kits at the Jackson lab. The turnaround times in Nashville and Knoxville slightly better. Law enforcement agencies can ask for rush testing, which means the evidence is prioritized and analyzed in a matter of days. But Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis says the circumstances for that. We have identified an individual and we have enough probable cause that we know where that person is and we need that additional information in order to move forward with prosecution. Alicia Franklin's sexual assault kit wasn't expedited. She wanted her name out there and it known her evidence was collected in September 2021, but wasn't pulled off the shelf to be analyzed until the following June. Her accused attacker, Cleotha Abstin Henderson, went on to reportedly kidnap and kill Eliza Fletcher. The day her body was found was the day the state says they matched him to the DNA found in Franklin's rape kit. We asked MPD when they knew he was possibly Franklin's attacker, but they refused to answer, citing pending litigation. What is clear, the TBI said more personnel will help with turnaround times, but noted the position takes a certain person and can come with 18 months of training. They can hire experienced forensic scientists, but added current TBI compensation makes this difficult. Jessica Gertler, WREG News Channel 3.